Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to talk about a relatively new feature that is built inside of MailChimp, the appointment scheduler. A few months ago, I made a video that went over MailChimp's online store capabilities. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to check that out as well. I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it was to set up an online store with MailChimp, and I thought it was actually a really good solution for a small business owner that's just starting out. Another feature that MailChimp now offers is appointment scheduling. I've worked with a lot of different appointment scheduling apps and plugins, and they all have their pros and cons. So I wanted to see how MailChimp stacked up to some of these other apps. Is this something that's even worth using or are you better off with another service like a Calendly or something like that? I am using a free MailChimp account. I haven't paid or upgraded to get any new features. I really wanted to see what MailChimp offered in terms of appointment scheduling with their free plan. I also haven't set anything up or gone through this process at all, so we're going to learn this together. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I've logged into my MailChimp account, and in order to get to the appointments area, you have to go under this website tab, and you'll see it here. So this is, I'm assuming, connected to their website builder that they have built in now. So right off the bat, if you already have a website, you might not want to use this, but let's see if they have the option to embed a form onto a web page because I know that they do that with their email opt-in, so maybe they do this for the appointments as well. So we're gonna find out. So the first thing that we need to do is add a service. So we'll click here and then we can choose a one-on-one -on -one service or a group service. So that's kind of nice that they have that option. I'm going to select one-on-one -on -one for this, and then for the service name, I'll just put in a consultation call. And then below that, we have to put in a description. So I'll put in a 30-minute consultation call. I'm guessing you can put really whatever you want. Now, if we go down here, we do have an option for duration, so we can change the amount of time. By default, it is set to 30 minutes, but I'm guessing we can change that to whatever we want in here. And then we also have a price option that is required. So that's kind of cool that you can set it up to uh, have it where you can pay for the service. A lot of free uh, schedulers don't allow you to do that. So what I'm guessing is that it is tied to a Stripe account. In the last video where I made the online store, it was tied to Stripe. That was the only option that they did include. Um, but Stripe is a good option. And I'm guessing if we put in a price here that it would take you to a place where you would go and pay through Stripe. I'm just going to put in uh, $10 for this example. Let's just see what happens when we do that. So then down here, we have the service URL. So this is just going to kind of example site that I created uh, in my previous video when I set up my online store. So this is all connected but you do have the option to change the service URL, which makes me think that we can link to this directly. And they do have a checkbox here where we can do SMS appointment related messages for our contacts. So that is very nice. Uh, so this would send somebody a text message to let them know that their appointment is coming up. So I think that that is pretty nice, uh, especially for a free version. So. Let me just click that and see what happens. Now I'm going to hit continue and we have the option to choose a location for our service. So in person, I'm guessing that would be at your store or wherever you want to have your meeting. Virtual would be a video call and a phone call would be on the phone. Um, for this, I'm going to do virtual. Let's just see what happens there. Now, 
it looks like we need to have some sort of Zoom or Google video conferencing service where we already have an account. Um, so I'm guessing if you have a Zoom meeting room, this is where you would set up the meeting and then put that link in here. Um, but it looks like that you can use kind of whatever you want. So that's kind of nice. So whatever you're most familiar with for doing virtual calls, you could use that service. They're not forcing you to do anything uh, that's kind of built into their platform. Um, let me just do in person to see what happens when I click that. So this just gives you location information option. So I guess you would just put in the address and maybe some directions in there. So that's nice that they include that. And then phone call, uh, the phone call options would be, I will call the customer or the customer will call me. So you just decide what you wanna do there. Um, so, so far I'm actually really liking the options that they're giving you. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I think that for the most part, you're going to do one of these three things. So, so far I'm pretty happy with the service. All right, let me just continue with phone call because I don't actually want to set up a, a Zoom a link or anything like that. I'm just going to do phone call and then we'll hit continue. I'll select the I'll call my customer option. And now here we have the option for setting availability. So by default, it just has Monday through Friday from nine to five, but it looks like we can change these options. If we don't want to be available on certain days, we just check those off or on, and then we can change the hours here. So pretty straightforward, good feature to have. So far, I really like this. And then additional availability options, we can have start time increments, uh, 30 minutes, and then we can change this to 30 or 60. So those are two options. So I guess what that means is how many appointments you want throughout the day. If you kind of want to buffer in between, you can set this to 60 minutes and you wouldn't have as many appointments. So let's hit continue on this and see what happens on the next page. All right, so we have reviewer service information, uh, service information, consultation call, 30 minutes for $10. The location is a phone call. This is the availability that people can schedule. And then if we go down here, we hit publish service on website, and then we need to accept the terms and conditions. And it says, nice work, your service is online. So let's view this page. Okay, so this site, uh, I created in a previous video just quickly to experiment with the e-commerce. So this is all connected and it doesn't look like there are tons of customization options. Um, if I click this, let's see what happens. It doesn't look like really anything, um, but I can select my date and time. So let me just select the 19th and it says these are the times that are available. So I'll select 12.30 p.m. Let's just see how this works. Okay, so we put in our information here, our email address, which I'm assuming is going to go into our MailChimp list, our phone number, any additional notes, and then we have the option to select uh, notification alerts uh, and then we hit save and continue now on the right hand side it says due today is zero dollars so we would pay for this on the date of our appointment so I'm assuming that we get invoiced or something I'm not actually sure how that works
seem a little bit buggy and it's relatively new so that is kind of expected when you have a new product you have to iron out some kinks but i couldn't get to the store settings to verify that my payment was set up correctly it just wouldn't load so i can't actually verify that i did everything correctly when i set up this appointment scheduler um it looks like i did but i do like to be able to check and make sure that especially payments are going through the right way. One thing that I did like was the fact that it was pretty simple to get this set up and they offered a pretty good amount of options for the free version. You had group scheduling and you had one-on-one -on -one scheduling and then you had the option to do a phone call, a virtual Zoom call, or one-on-one -on -one at your location. Not every appointment scheduling service offers that for free. One big downside I see to this is that they don't let you embed it onto a web page. I thought that they might allow you to do that because I know that they do that for email opt-ins, but it looks like they want you to use this with their website building tools. So they really want you to create your entire website through MailChimp versus embedding it onto another URL. And I guess that's understandable. They want you to remain in their ecosystem, but it would be nice to have this ability and be able to embed it onto a website that you already have because a lot of people that use MailChimp aren't probably using the website feature. And this appointment scheduling feature could be really beneficial because it ties into your email list that you're already using. So maybe that's something that down the road they'll consider adding. Not exactly sure if that's going to happen or not, but I would like to see that as a feature, even if you do have to upgrade your account to get it. Now I could just copy this link and send it to whoever I wanted to, and they could book the appointment online that way. But it doesn't really have the option to change anything. So if I wanted to like change colors or fonts or just customize it a little bit more, it doesn't look like I can really do that. But if you just want something simple and basic, I think it could work. It would be nice if there was the option in the future to embed a code onto a website that you've already created instead of having to use MailChimp's system. So do I think that MailChimp's appointment scheduling system is worth setting up? Yes and no. If you are brand new to business, you don't have a website currently, this could be a good option for you. But if you already have a website, I probably wouldn't use this. I would use something like a Calendly or a WordPress plugin to set up the appointment scheduling. You're going to get more options and it's just going to look better in the end, I think with your overall branding and design because they didn't really give you any options to change the look of that appointment page. I do like that this is tied to MailChimp, so any contacts that you get through the appointment scheduler will be automatically added to your email marketing list, so that's a really great feature. One thing that I wish they would add in the future is the ability to embed it onto a web page because a lot of people using MailChimp aren't necessarily using all of the features. They probably already have their own website and they're just trying to use the email marketing feature. So this would be a good addition down the road. Overall, I think that it's great that MailChimp is offering something like this to its users, especially for free, because as a small business owner, it can be pretty complicated to set all these things up and it's nice to have a bunch of services in one place. And when you're just starting out in business, money can be tight. So having free options is always good. So what do you think? Would you use MailChimp's appointment scheduling service for your business? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.